what causes dementia? Okay, so let's, we're gonna break this down. We talked about the dementia as being the heading. The cause of dementia can be Alzheimer's, the most common form of dementia. And we talked about statistics about 60 to 80% or maybe even two thirds of all dementia is Alzheimer's disease. Just to break it down, what's happening in something like Alzheimer's disease is that there is a genetic mutation that creates something called amyloid plaques, okay? These amyloid plaques attach to certain parts of the brain and basically cause a disruption. Two things happen. Number one is cell death of the neuron, so the neuron actually dies. And the other thing is that it just causes a disruption in the cell communication by affecting something called acetylcholine. And acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter that we need to think. It's sort of the gasoline that's sort of running our brain and causing these neurons to interact. So with Alzheimer's disease, it's the amyloid plaques that are attaching themselves to certain parts of the brain, disrupting acetylcholine and causing cell death. And it's very specific where the Alzheimer's disease attacks. The temporal lobes and part of the basal, basilar system of the brain where memory is involved, okay? Now that's Alzheimer's disease. When we take another step down under our dementia heading, vascular dementia. And this is the next most common type of dementia. And people need to understand this. What this is, Kyle, are like mini strokes. And for those of you that don't know what a stroke is, a stroke is a blockage of a blood vessel or a tiny bleed in the brain that prevents blood from getting to a certain part of the brain. Now listen, if blood is not reaching a certain part of the brain, it's considered hypoxic and the cells are gonna die. So if you're having these tiny little mini strokes, those areas of your brain are gonna have inflammation and damage. And depending where that happens, you're gonna have trouble with memory, with speech, with movement, all of the things that are under that dementia criteria, right? That's called vascular dementia. And it presents in a very specific way. It's usually sudden onset, it's not as insidious or slow as something like Alzheimer's disease, and it happens in a stepwise pattern, meaning they're doing just fine, all of a sudden something happens. Wow, what happened to mom? She's suddenly really forgetful and, and, and losing things, and, and not herself, and then she's there, and then boom, again, it happens again, and it gets worse. So you see the stepwise pattern of progression. Now that's vascular dementia. But the, the vascular, that's the one that when they're having strokes. Strokes, yeah. Do they know they're having strokes? These are such, so, and when you're talking in the neurology world, like there's a stroke, right, where you have a deficit in something, yes. like, you know, one-sided, you know, gait disturbance or something, or facial droop. In a lot of cases, these are such mini ischemic episodes. Ischemia, meaning a blockage, or hypoxia, or not getting oxygen. Many, many, many strokes that you don't even really notice. It could be something called frontotemporal dementia, which is where you have uh, problems in the brain in the frontal lobes of the brain, and this also has to do with plaques as well. And then you have something called Lewy body dementia, named after the doctor, Lewy, that figured out that there are these things called alpha-synuclein proteins, another type of protein that wreaks havoc in the brain in certain areas, and that's Lewy body dementia. So I just wanted to make sure that we understood a little bit of all of the dementias and sort of what's causing them.